to the news people? I will call the uh, Irmo Council uh, meeting to order, uh, and we have a public hearing first um, to receive comments on the proposed increase of the council's salary. Is there anyone who would like to address the Irmo Town Council um, on the salary increase? And seems like none. Um, so I will call the public hearing uh, closed. And the next uh, will be the um, Pledge of Allegiance. And I will recognize um, Councilman Youngener to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. All right. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Perhaps, Father, Lord, we thank you for this time that we can gather tonight and make decisions for this town. I pray that you just guide us as we make these decisions. I bless the ones who made it to this meeting tonight and protect them as they return to their homes. Name we ask. Amen. 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 Next item is the reading of the minutes from October the 15th. Is there a motion for approval of the minutes as written? So moved. And a second. A second. Any discussion? I gotta look over your shoulder. I'm sorry. I have to look over your shoulder. Um, no discussion. All in favor then of the reading of the minutes as approved, uh, do so with show of hand. Next item is the administrative briefing. Uh, Mr. Brown, do you have anything you want to add to the briefing? Yes, I have a couple things. Um, first one is a question. Does council want to pursue the um, sidewalk access to Union Church from the town park? Uh, it's going to involve an easement with either Mrs. Hilliard or Mrs. Posley and or maybe right away purchase. So before I start any kind of discussion and get the lawyer involved, I just want to make sure council wants to approach that. If we spoke to the church and make sure they'll mm -hmm. let us park back there I haven't, I haven't spoke to anybody yet. I would think first thing we'll do is make sure it's okay with them and if they're fine with it then we can kind of move forward and just see I think you if it costs it. money, then come back to us. If it doesn't, we can kind of go from there. It would be nice. Yes. Because of all that parking back there. Okay. So On sidewalk, it would be about four more yeah. feet of sidewalk. So um, probably around six, seven thousand dollars. Just the basic asphalt, like we've done before. You know, we just need the permissions. And that one property that you mentioned, Mrs. Posley. Posley. Mm -hmm. um, if, I'm, if she's the one I'm thinking of, which I think it is, there's an open ditch kind of behind her house that mm -hmm. comes out of that culvert, mm -hmm. which I think over the years has has um, washed a lot of property away. And I think she came to, I want to say town council a couple, of, maybe years ago, but it's been quite a while back um, because the county wouldn't do anything to it um, because it was an open ditch and what it needs. I think there's stuff growing in it and all that kind of stuff, so we may need to fill it in first because right now behind her and I don't think it's the whole property but I think about half of her backyard is just open ditch behind her fence the rest of it may be to where we could you know pave on but I think and part where of does it, she live where? if you go down Doncaster 548 Doncaster the, address. Sack, the oh, okay. first little house on the left in the cul-de-sac and right behind her house is the property that kind of runs from the town to the okay. church okay um, I mean, it's a, it's a good idea. Maybe if we it's fixed her ditch, she wouldn't sell us, you know, the property. She'd let us have it, you know, an easement if we repaired it kind of thing. I mean, we're going to need yeah, the Yeah, I don't mean when they built that neighborhood, I don't know why they did the culvert, say, the next 100 foot, and then it would have been into the woods. don't know. But it's very convenient. So I would get with Union Church and then go from there and see about what yeah, it costs and sure get information. Today. Okay. Um, so you're going to talk to Ms. Posey or you're going to talk to Ms. Hillier? I'm going to start with Union Church, and then if it's okay with them, and they're going to let us use the parking and have a sidewalk go to the back of their property with a little gate there, an access mm -hmm. gate, um, then I'll talk to both of them. I mean, Jake may have a better relationship with Mrs. Hilliard, or her son, the lawyer, yeah. you know, who gave us the easement for the road. I mean, that would, be, that would be easier than going through an actual established residential property. 
Yeah. Let's go through the woods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If yeah. she's willing to give it to us. Yes. So I will talk to her first then after okay. I talk to Union Church. Um, if you've noticed, Church Street was repaired and so was Shetfield. We had a couple big holes out there and it cost us $4,200 to, you know, get the holes patched up and repaid. But I also sent a letter off the DOT requesting that Church Street be put on the resurfacing <coughs> list. Thad said he'd try to work with us, be late next year maybe. Just so people it's start not calling. Bad now. I know. It's, it's pretty good. So that's. Um, don't get set. The clock's back Saturday, <laughs> one hour. And I don't see. I was waiting for Miss Richter to show back up from Palmetto Health, and she wanted to talk to her attorney. So we may not be doing that receipt of communications this evening. Yep. So. So I have. We can take it out of order if she comes in. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if this would be any good for, um, you know, what's the road we just talked about? Church Street. Church Street. But I don't know if you got this. Um, I'm sure they did, but they sent one to me about the seed fund for Lexington County. Can we use those for that road? To Not for the DOT road. Oh, okay. We can use it for Lexington County Road if we have one. But you can't use it for that one. Okay. Yeah. I'll look around see if there's something we can use it for and then I'll bring it back to council for permission to apply for it. I got a call and an email today asking about using the park for birthday parties. I directed them to Miss. We've Clark. gotten like three or four calls. I know. I, th I think this the new is part. New park, yeah. I rode through there and there was half a dozen um, folks back at the playground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's they, nice. They love it. Well, Fish is going to open in May, so I mean, even before that, you know, we got to play it by ear. I mean, I don't see why you can't use it now. I don't either, especially for little kids' birthday parties or something. <laughs> I mean, I what are you going to do? Are you going to have a concert out there or something? No, birthday parties. Yeah. I think that's fine. I think the park is closed, isn't it? Is we actually take the keys over that's correct end of the month right yeah still the contractor's responsibility until we accept the key we have no liability so if somebody got hurt over there we wouldn't be liable until we own it mm. and we're not going to own it until landscapers are done so we're looking at about the 17th or 18th of november mm -hmm. when they're supposed to be done and i have a feeling they will be leave the keys with him okay <laughs> no liability that's true <laughs> so any more questions of Mr. Brown on the administrative briefing? And we'll do the receipt of communications later if they come in. Is there any other receipt of communication? Being none, um, next item on the agenda is presentation for by citizens. This would be where um, if you'd like to speak to council on anything that's on the agenda tonight, um, this would be the time to do so. All we ask is you give us the name and address for the record. Um, anyone who would like to address the council on anything that's on the agenda tonight? Seeing none. Um, and it looks like they're here, so we yep. can go back to presentation by. We will recognize y'all if y'all want to. You just walked in, I know, but if you want to, we're at that time where if you'd like to do your presentation, you're welcome to. Or a question, or, or whatever. What do you want to do? I, I do believe we have some um, unresolved issues that we need to take care of contractually. Can we have an executive like session? No. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take the executive session out of order? Is that all right with everybody? Yeah, we need a motion. Mm -hmm. I make a motion. Well, to we the take the executive session out of order to deal with any contract issues and ask our town attorney to join us. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Give us just a few. Oh, no, wait a minute. He seconded it. Executive session and we are moving forward with receipted communication and I will recognize um, Regina Brown and Sarah 
Kirby uh, to uh, do the presentation for Palmetto Health. And then you just tell us how you want to do this. Well, we are pleased to present the town council. Let me go down for a photo Everybody stand up down there with us. Yeah. Yeah, stand here. In the middle? Yeah. In the front of the camera. That's it. Thank you. Thank you all. So on behalf of Come Out Health, we're pleased to present the town of, uh, of Irmo with a check of town council uh, towards the new town park. We are excited to serve the people and the community of Irmo and uh, are committed to doing our part. So when the ask was made, Come Out Health um, is here to assist. And we're excited about the partnership. Look forward to working with you all. It's a blessing in the form of a check. We <laughs> <laughs> also have our, our first installment, the live check. Um, it's a little better than the cardboard one. And so we're, we are thrilled. Great partnership. I want to, I want to also mention and say that uh, this relationship between Palmetto Health and the town of Irmo is it's symbiotic of what I see in the future for the community park of Irmo. Um, from the onset, when we first broke ground over there, I said that we were going to be able to find uh, partnerships with organizations, uh, other private companies to come and help us do this park. And yeah, it's cost us $1.5 million, but here's 120000 of it back. So, and uh, I think that this is a future, and this will be. A symbol of what we're going to do in future uh, endeavors over there. We have other naming rights that can be done from a picnic shelter to the walking trails to even a children's playground. So anybody else who wants to pony up some money, we're more than happy to talk to you about it and we're glad to do a presentation just like we're doing here with Palmetto House. But thank you very much uh, for your help. And Hospital, Palmetto yeah. Health Baptist Park Bridge, which will be open in March of this year. And uh, we look forward to serving the community and really having a focus on health and wellness. So we plan to have programs and get our community members out to the park and use the amphitheater, and so we're thrilled. Good. Good. Thank you. We look forward to the healthy activities yes, that you're going to bring you. to <laughs> Thank you. 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 <laughs> well, you can go to the United States now and uh, drop a point of view if you want to write that down. Is that the way the new passport looks at? Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we get through the presentation about citizens? Or did we just yeah, start? You got we, through that. We did. The next item on the agenda is uh, unfinished business, third and final reading of Board 1311 uh, to increase the council's uh, annual salary by 3000 to become effective January 1st, 2014. Is there a motion for third and final reading? So moved. Second. And second. And any comments, any discussion? I recognize. Well, uh, as I've stated before, I've been on council since 1990, and there has never been a an increase at all. Uh, I just think it's long overdue. Councilman Walker, you second. You want to go second? Do you want to add anything? No, I'm all right. <laughs> Any other comments from anyone else? Um, I think at our last meeting, I'll go ahead and comment. I want to add something. At the last meeting, I think Councilman Walker voted against it because of the date on it. Um, um, well, and I can speak for myself. I don't need you to well, speak for me. I mean, I'm just saying at the last meeting, you did vote against it because okay. of the date. And I as well. I don't know if that's the reason why I voted against it. But I as well I also am not 100% um, happy with the date. Um, I kind of feel like, um, again, as I mentioned earlier, we put it on the agenda, I don't know if it was back in May, 
or whatever it was to do the discussion. It's been a while. Now. Yeah. Um, and for different reasons, we didn't want to do it, and then later we did. Um, as it says in our thing, I think um, it goes into effect uh, after the next general election, and I realize we're having an election, but we're not really having an election. Um, so I think um, I would like to um, just postpone it till January 2016. Um, and I don't know if that would get a second, um, and that's fine, but I think... Um, so you're making a motion? Is that what it is? I'm talking. Okay, you're making a motion to talk. Uh, I am. Okay. Yes. Um, but because of that, and since it's going into effect 2014, I'm going to just vote against it for that reason. So, so you're you making a motion or not? If you're making a motion, I'll second mm -hmm. it. Are you making I a motion? Didn't, I didn't make one. So you're not making a motion, you're just talking? I didn't make one. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so any other discussion? Call for the question. You ready to vote? Right. All in favor of the third and final reading? Uh, to increase council salary three thousand dollars by January 2014. Do so a show of hands. All opposed. New business approval of budget amendment in the amount of nine thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars, which is the amount that the, um, the pay increase would do from January 14th to June 30th. June 31st or June 30th. So is there a motion for that budget amendment? So moved. Second. And a second. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Accounting housekeeping. Yes. All in favor then of that um, budget amendment in the amount of 9,415. And was that for the budget for the, for the current budget. the current budget, right? For yes, for this, yeah. For the to add that amount to it for the salary increase. Uh, next item is uh, item B, approval of a contract with Null Construction in the amount of $5,600 for additional clearing in the community park. Is there a motion for approval? So moved. And a second. Second. Any discussion? I recognize you, Councilman Can I ask a question first? Who's Null Construction? Uh, Jason Knowles, the owner. Wow. Can ask the Out of Columbia. Huh? Out of Columbia. Well, let me ask Younger, um, Captain Young, if he wants to go first since he made it, and then, sure. then we'll kind of go down the. I was thinking all along that this, that the contract with, um, with. Uh, Mike Elsie. Mike Elsie is it in, includes everything in the park, but I was wrong it only includes the actual park itself but the entrance to the park is a separate oh, contract okay. so oh, okay. church street for instance it's got some um it's got some lots of tree problems that are rotten dead trees falling down and and, and hazards too if if anybody ventures out into the woods so that really needs to be taken care of immediately i believe so that would not be part of elsie's construction uh, or part of the contract so since it's not, we need to proceed ahead. It's not that much money um, in comparison to what has been spent, but just to clean up this area, I think, needs to occur. Okay. What about all those dead trees that, that are laying around in there? Is that part of this, too? Or? Yes. That all get cleaned up down Eastview and Church. No, no, I'm talking about in the park itself. There's a bunch of trees. There's a couple of trees I noticed that have fallen down. Well, a lot of them that have... And the they were not pushed down by the con uh, contractor. Right. Mr. Klein's been hacking them up and hauling them off. Yeah. This will take care of some of those bigger ones that you've seen that have been laying down. Uh -huh. He's going to launch them off. Those big trees that are laying down in the park? Right. Okay. Because okay. they were only responsible for the ones they knocked. No, down. I understand that, but I mean, there's a whole bunch of. There are. There's a bunch of trees that have fallen down, whether they've rotted and fell down, or whether they got knocked down. Take care of. Okay, so when I go back there, it'll be all mulch and stuff in the Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, that, that answered my questions. I did have questions about that. But I remember a few weeks back, a month or so, we also had a, a little change order on Church Street uh, leading into the park for some additional drainage and a drain field in there that was not part of the contract. If this is in that area, I totally understand. That answers all of my questions. So the only question, I'm still confused. You're talking about it goes down 
Church Street. Down the, off the edge into the buffer area and down. From the entrance back to the paved road or in the park? Section? From the new park where we started paving church into the park and then stay on the right hand side of the road and go up East View and all of that stuff that's okay. along East View in the park, that's all going to get cleaned up with it. Okay, so and outside on East View where that sidewalk's going and then I want to say across from Miss Bell's house? Yes. That yes. section? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that, that's And then if I'm reading the administrative briefing, inside the park where the walking trails are, there's poison ivy and whatever. And yep. So they'll be inside there too. Yep, on the other side of the walking trail because the contractor is responsible inside the other side of the walking trail, the outside towards the homes okay. are a buffer area. So that wasn't part of the contractor's responsibility. So we're, going to go we're trying to clean, clean it up, up now. Yes. Poison ivy and that kind yes. of thing. Yes. Okay. The little kids will be running around in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any more discussion? Oh, now when, when will that start if it gets approved? End of the week. All in favor then of the contract with no construction uh, for $5,600 to do additional clearing at the park, uh, do so with show of hands. And next item is presentation by citizens. This is where anyone could address us on anything, uh, regardless of whether it's on the council or on the agenda or not. Um, all that we ask is you give us your name and address for the record. Anyone who would like to come? David Chomesky at 306 Schillingford Road, Irmo, South Carolina. Irmo. <laughs> um, updates. Um, I've got the property that is is floods and this, and we're trying to get the plumb, the piping and stuff. And I want to thank Mr. Brown for coming out. Um, gentleman named uh, Kyle from uh, Dennis Court is a private engineer that's coming out and they're working up a report on what's going on with the drainage and everything. Um, they indicate they saw some issues and uh, that will all go on a report and y'all will get that. Um, I did meet with them and submitted probably about 30 pictures of different scenarios of stuff that has gone on that it brings great concern. Um, since uh, the last time I was here, we found a huge um, sinkhole to the side of my building. Um, Mrs. Dixon uh, from Richland County uh, Storm, I believe it's Richland County Storm, um, Storm Water actually came out today and uh, she did indicate that my, the pipe that goes underneath is, is really damaged. Um, the front half of it is split and she says it shouldn't be there. They're, gonna, they're coming back in the next day or two and they're gonna run cameras through it. She did say um, because of the sinkhole, because of the crack, because of all the situations that there is, there is a lot of problems. Um, she also said that, yeah, definitely the pipe should be bigger. That, she said, then I have a huge oak tree that's actually on my neighbor's property that she said more than likely 90% it'll have to come down. Um, they're also worried about, she said, they're worried about my, um, my the garage that it, actually the pipe goes past. Um, uh, hopefully I'll... I'll get to her the next time. I mean, if they have to ramjack the build, you know, ramjack my thing and and do what they got to do, um, she said more than likely there's going to have to be a, a bigger pipe that goes in there. Um, uh, pipe is damaged. Tree needs to be removed. I've got a tree that probably will end up having to come down, which is not a very big tree. Um, all my fencing is going to have to come out. Um, a sinkhole problem. Um, and again, like she said, she's going to come back in a, in a couple of days and, and run a camera through it. So um, she, she acknowledges that there's um, problems. Um, now it's easements. Now we're all just trying to figure out easements in that, in that property, whether it's uh, 
who is who and what and how could we get to the creek. Um, they all agreed that we did a fantastic job on cleaning the creek. Um, and uh, they thought that, they, that, that whoever came out to clean the creek actually cleaned the creek. And my wife Bonnie said, no, no, they didn't. We, we cleaned the creek. So um, they, again, they said, good job. But uh, they, they are acknowledging, hopeful, you know, she did acknowledge that there is an issue. And I think that, that she, she's part of the engineering staff for Richland County. So now we've got two engineering staffs. We have ours, and then we have theirs. So, um, but thanks to everybody. I pretty much done everything I can. Talk to you guys, keep you informed what's going on. Um, just waiting for the report to come back. Thank you. Thank you. Can you can you keep track of all of what's what your process has been through this? So I have. You got some it. neighbors that got the same situation that you gone through. Well, um, yeah, there is sure several we're... neighbors that. Uh, also, Kelly. We think her name is Kelly, but her last name is Miss Dixon. Mm -hmm. Is also is aware of the 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 other properties that has been complaining and stuff that I didn't even know about. Mm -hmm. So she acknowledged that today. So there is, I mean, there is several, there's several dwellings, several dwellings that um, it is affecting. Barry, the problem is, it seems to me, seems to me that when it rains really hard, the pipe that connects the, 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 the catch basin is simply not big enough to handle all the water. So the pipe fills completely up with water. The rest of the water diverts around, runs basically through his front yard, mm -hmm. and then it runs into other people's properties. I mean, we've got, I would estimate, four to five other houses that are being seriously affected, seriously affected. His next door neighbor's property is so bad that the house is empty now. But you go in the house, there's been enough water in that house to buckle the floors. Wow. That is how bad it is. And we've had DOT engineers out. They're hopefully coming back. Uh, which looked at it, I looked at it. In my humble opinion, and I can, I'm not an engineer, but I think that the pipe that goes underneath, what's the name of that road? The Schillingford. Schillingford. The pipe that goes underneath Schillingford needs to be double in size, and the pipe that goes along the backside of his property needs to be double in size. Where, where that pipe dead ends, or doesn't dead end, where the pipe empties out, the pipe probably ought to be run where it presently is underground. It ought to be underground probably by his neighbor's property. And it runs into that big ditch down there. I mean, my God, the pipe that goes on the wall of the wood must be six feet tall. That ought to be big enough. You're but saying that six foot tall pipe is not big enough? No, that ought to be big enough. Oh. The pipe at his property, the problem is it's just it's acting just like a it's acting like a, a, a dam where the pipe just fills completely mm -hmm. up with a heavy rain. There's no rough for the water to go, but it just it, it just flows around. Sounds just like Rawls Creek, doesn't it? <laughs> We've been there before, haven't we? We sure certainly have. Then when uh, Dennis Court came out, they were pulling manhole covers everywhere. And then below me, below me, it comes out T-bones and goes to the left through a five foot, six foot pipe like we were just saying, and goes under Charing Cross. Well, from Charing Cross, from the dwelling that is on the other side of Charing Cross, that pipe is five feet wide, has 18 inches of water in it, and is backed up all the way to the end where it goes past Mr. Luther's property. It, 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 can't, it can't drain past Mr. Luther's property because the soot level is so high that he, it can't turn and go and drain like it's supposed to go there. I never even went there. Dennis Corp went out there and 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 now and looked at that, and they're like, mm -mm. Mm. so you've got like, 
you, when you when I stuck my tape measure in there to, to measure the depth of the water, it's full of leaves all down in there. Yeah. So, and what I did is when I when I when I shoveled out all the the road soot, there's like 15 years of road soot there, and, and I'm down to I'm down to uh, basically clay, hard clay and stone, and I can't get past that. But uh, we need to find out who who's supposed to take care of the, that ditch because the ditch needs to be opened up, and that's where the easements are all coming in. We need to find who who has the easements and find out who it is and why they haven't done that, H haven't taken care of the ditch. So <clears throat> I'm happy. We're getting we we're, 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 we're got forward process. And we're we're going. So I'm I'm deeply thrilled. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to address um, our Motown Council on anything? Uh, there's a gentleman in the back. I think he wants to address us about a personnel issue. I, th I think I'd like to make a motion that we go back in executive session since it is personnel. I'll second that. You might you make sure a formal motion. Yeah. You make a formal motion. Yeah, I made a phone motion. Yeah, a second. Um, so there's been a motion and a second to go into an executive session with um, Mr. Sachs. Former employee, yes. Okay. All in favor? And Jake, we'll need you to. Um, I will go ahead if you want me to. Yes. Yes, sir. Mr. <clears throat> Citizen. And the executive session, I guess all that's done. So, yes. I have a motion to adjourn. Amen. Second. No action taken on. Individual. No action taken. Okay. Um, well, we appreciate the chief's patience. Did we vote? All in favor yeah. of adjournment? Uh, Barry, I think. Barry. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it here.